So, so yeah, so as John was saying, it's, uh, it was introduced in 1976. Um, and guess what happened in 1980? The Russians rolled into Afghanistan, but um, it was too secret and not very good in the heat. So with the gas turbines and, uh, and the dust. Turbines hate Afghanistan. Yep. Uh, the 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 Allies in the the recent conflict there had enormous troubles with even getting planes that could take off um, from the height and the and the heat. Um, and uh, similarly, turbine tanks don't love it either. Uh, but that does give the the, the counter argument of where the T eighty really shines, and whether even the when the Russians were down on it, um, it, it shone is um, anywhere it's really cold. Mm. Uh, it loves the cold. Yeah, um, so that's why they've got um, your the naval infantry uh, divisions or whatever they are uh, have them because they're situated in places where uh, the Russian uh, navy is, which is usually cold water ports surrounded by ice and snow. Uh, and so if you're going to have troops stationed there, you may as well have navy troops stationed there rather than uh, army troops because mm. they're all that way you don't get conflicts in, in uh, who's who's in charge of all these people st uh, standing around Archangel and Mimansk. Um And that's why they've uh, and so the Gas turbines work very well, very well in the um, in the freezing, freezing cold. And guess what Russia has? Lots of John, cold. Lots and lots of cold. Oh.